Hi everybody, how everybody is doing? Welcome back to another brand new vlog. So, I'm here to give um, some update about what's been going on for the past couple of weeks and um, a little bit of chitty chatty and see how everything is going with everybody and how everybody is doing. Well, I am doing okay so far, alhamdulillah. Um, a little bit of aches and pains and um, a little bit of, you know, not so okay, but I'm alive and I'm breathing, so yeah. But what happened is that a few weeks ago, I was, I woke up with a sharp pain in my chest and it like was, like it was squeezing and it was feeling so tight. I, and that was like two, three o'clock in the morning and I went to the hospital and I saw the doctor, they did a ECG, they did, um, and blood works and stuff like that it came back that nothing to do with my heart because i was so scared about that um but they told me that they want to run the test a second time um another ecg and another um set of blood work and the reason that they're doing that is because i my i have a history well not me my my dad and his family have history of heart attack that's how my dad died and he was four to six so every time I got a little bit of sick and it concerned the doctors, uh, you know, because of history. Um, the second test came back and came back um, negative again. But what happened, it was like stress. So that's why you feel sharp pain. Um, it's, it's everything that's going on and, you know, whatever it's, you know, how life it is. So life can be stressful sometimes um, at work, managing home, um, you know, whatever. So I'm so grateful though that it has nothing to do with my heart and whatever. But I before I went to the hospital for that, um, in and out I would have like pains in my in my knee, my foot, my knee, my leg, my thigh, and then it will come up to my 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 left side, my arm. And it's only on my left side, right? And it like really, really sharp pain, you know? Um I didn't really take it like like anything serious before but when it happened um it happened uh in this week here again um like a couple of days ago so i decided i say you know what i have to let my family doctor know about this and i called her and then um because i was worried i said like maybe they missed something about my heart maybe something to do with stroke anything um so when i called her and talked to her well now because of the pandemic you couldn't like go into the office and um, they always will do um they will take phone calls so when i called her she said nothing to worry about about heart and uh, you know she will not rule you know s s signs or symptoms of stroke but what i i suggest to her and this is what i brought up to her is that i really need to do an arthritis test because i have pains in my knees like about five years ago i never really like diagnose diagnose it but um, I would see doctor in and out and um, I would do therapy sometimes, not too much, maybe once in a blue moon and stuff like that. So I I decided that to ask my doctor to get a, um, arthritis test done. So I had um, blood work done and I got a call this morning that it's back and I'm going to have another appointment tomorrow with my doctor to talk about it. I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit scared um, to see what's happening and stuff like that. Uh, I sound like like a um, like a, a health case, like 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 a sick person all the time. But it's all of this is part of me. Um, cancer and thyroid and um, and I don't know if it's arthritis. I don't know if it's something else. And and I just don't know what's happening. But I'm gonna wait tomorrow and see what she's she's gonna tell me about my blood work. But um, I'm hoping it's not anything serious. Um, I've been through a lot and I'm tired and I'm growing tired of it. That with all the pains and aches and I always got scared. Um, went through cancer or going through cancer and um, your history of cancer. It's not an easy, um, an easy thing. Like for me, I can talk personally about me. Like if I have a belly ache, if I have, um, if my migraine comes on too often, if I'm having knee pain in my knee, pain in my stomach, I always worry. Cancer is always, always um, at the top of my head. Um, before I think, okay, it's 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 just a normal pain, or 
you know, I'm tired or maybe I'm exhausted or whatever the reason is, whatever it is that's causing that, I always thought of cancer that, okay, maybe it's something there. But what I happen is that I do check um, every six months with my, um, my oncologist. She's a really nice doctor um, and everything is good so far, but you can never stop worry as long as you went through cancer. You can never, ever, ever stop worry. And that is something that you're going to live with for the rest of your life. Always have to worry about it. Um, so let's, I'm going to give an update about my blood work for the arthritis. And let's see what's happening. Um, what, what is my left hand too, like my fingers, they would like get very numb and stiff sometimes. And I don't know. I have a strong feeling maybe it's cancer. I'm, Alhamdulillah, no, forget about that. Oh boy, and maybe it's arthritis. And let's see, let let's see what's happening there. Um, and maybe you know, I don't want to rule out anything because it's kind of scaring me. So that's that's a little bit of update of what's happening. And then my mom, she have um, she have arthritis too. Right, uh, she have this very severe arthritis in her um her hand, her fingers, and she have it on her knee and stuff like that. So um, she she been going through that for many many years, and she's take medication and 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 you know stuff like that. So I am giving you a little bit of this update to just tell you of what's happening and stuff like that. I another thing I want to mention um about is that and i have to do a whole lot of video but but let me just include it because there's not much you know to be talked about right now um stress gonna always be there i want to tell you this it's always gonna be there whether um whether in your home whether work whether family whether kids whether whatever it is and you know you gotta take a day at a time you know, and I'll tell you this, if you find that you have um, toxic people around you, um, whether it can be who, it can be how close they are to you and it can be what, you know, what's happening. And if that is contributing to your stress and worries, you need to let that person go or that thing go. You know, it's easier said than done, but um, you have to look out for yourself because when you get sick and when you're unhealthy and all of these things, those people or those, or, or those things that is contributing to your issue is not going to be there for you. So a little bit of advice is that um, don't keep, you know, don't keep people around who's stressing you out. The situation that's stressing you out, if you can change it and help, you know, um, and put yourself forward and not to think about that, then do it because your health is what's important. I didn't ask for cancer. I didn't ask for thyroid. I didn't ask for, um, you know, for all of this other extra stuff that's being happening and, and going on and stuff like that. Look, the world is, 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 is um, and I cannot stress enough about this. And, and mostly every one of my videos so far, I think I mentioned about COVID. Like you have to take care of yourself, take care of people around you, um, take precaution. You know, it's here still, it's, it, it didn't go anywhere. So all of that is contributing to people's stress and worry and people being laid off from jobs and people, um, the bills are keep piling for some people out there. People are not able to pay the rent and, you know, and put food on the table. People who have kids, minor kids who are supposed to be in school cannot be in school because of this, you know, stupid um, pandemic that we are in. And it, you find that family are having a bit more hard time, you know, um, fending for this family because they're home also, you know. So you, you tend to spend more, you tend to eat more, you tend to um, burn more electricity, water, and all these things. So it's all compounding into one. I know I'm straying away from the topic a little bit, but I want to um, to get that, you know, into it and, you know, and let people know that it's easier said than done. But if you can take a breather, take a breather. Take a breather from whatever stressed, you know, um, sometimes things we don't have control of situation that in, you know, in our hand. We do not have control of it. Um, but what I can say is that pray about it, um, whatever religion you are and, you know, because every, 
you know everybody you know have their own beliefs and says and and, and and stuff like that so i'm here just to tell you a little bit of what's happening with me and you know my sickness and you know what's going on i can't wait for tomorrow i'm a little bit on ease but um i can't wait to hear what my doctor gonna be saying and stuff like that about this whole um uh, pain that i was getting but guys um it's life it's part of life and um let's let's take a day at a time and um i'm gonna stress a little bit more on another video about cancer and 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 the stigma that that's being you know um being out there about cancer and not everybody feel um sad for you right when they hear you have cancer and stuff like that not everybody um worry and 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 pray for you and stressed out for you you know not everybody does that so in another video i'm going to stress a little bit more about the stigma of cancer of having cancer and why some people actually keep that on the wrap and 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 for different reasons and um because i came across an article the other day on um on facebook about um the cancer and the type of cancer this person have I'm gonna enlighten you a little bit uh, that this person had cancer and um, I don't remember the type of cancer and they were stressing about um, the difference between cervical cancer and they kind of put it off a little bit which kind of um, had me going there they're like oh they, they they keep it on the wrap because it was a different type of cancer and they don't want people to think about them in this way and that way that strikes me but in my next video I'm gonna um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that and why you shouldn't be, you know, um, fall under that and be ashamed and be, um, you know, holding back that. I um, hold back about my cancer when I had it, um, not, not because I I want to, but because I was going through a hell of a lot with kids and 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 you know my whole entire um, life then was in you know in a different situation where I didn't want to stress my kids out. I was basically um a single parent you have to say back then um so it's a whole different thing but i'll touch base on that and i'll give you an update about my um new report from my my doctor um tomorrow uh, i'm gonna be having an appointment with her so i'll let you know what was the pain about but guys take care um stay healthy stay safe keep everybody safe wear your mask um use hand sanitizer just basically you know take care of yourself and um don't forget to like subscribe and whoever subscribed to me you know um i may not know how many or who are the people i should say um subscribe to me but whoever and who genuinely gen and i know why i'm saying this not um judging me from my video and judging um you know the way my content and the way i make video and whatever um thank you so much for being there and if you're listening to me um i love you guys um take care and another video gonna be another update bye guys